All right, here's the tricky part. I've got this tightened up, lubricated. I put the little brush foamy thing back in. If you look down here, you'll see nice clean barrels. I've been cleaning those. I use a Q-tip. I use Q-tips and toothpicks for a lot of cleaning uh, because one, they're soft, and two, they don't uh, scratch the surfaces. So you'll see toothpicks laying around. At any rate, uh, these are the brushes. These are brand new and um, full length and no deposits on the ends or anything. So what you do is you just slide those down the barrel and as you can see, I don't know if you saw that one, I'll try to show you this one better. When I let go, it just slides right down. Boom, that's great. Then I get two uh, springs and of course I just mashed them together which is like impossible to separate. Um, hold on a second. There we go. And they should slide down and they should have about an equal distance of stick out stick out amount because you want equal amount of pressure on each one and they do now the really tricky part is getting these clips on snug with that spring underneath the clip I don't know if I can show you how I do that but I will I will make an attempt okay we'll just see, we'll just see if I can put this anywhere Where's the spring? There's the spring. Well, that's as good as I can get it. I've got it resting against something. So what I do is I push the spring down with my thumb and I expose just the tip of the spring and the edge and then I bring this over and I slide it under my thumb and then I slide that on. So we've got a nice tight fit and the spring is underneath. Then I do it with my other finger. I slide it down. I expose a tiny bit of the spring so that I can capture it and then I slide my little cap down. Ooh, make sure you don't miss. If you pull the cap off and the spring isn't really caught in there, uh, then parts go flying across the room. Okay, you know, I've only done this a gazillion times, right? Camera's rolling. Okay, there we go. All right, the springs are on. At this moment, this motor is operational. Now. If I move this one, it's snug. If I move this one, it's a little loose. So what I'm going to do is come along with my needle nose and just give that a little, a little pinch, just to tighten that up a little bit, which it did. Okay, fine. Try this side. Try this side. Just a, just a, a, a love tap, not, you know, a bear hug here. Yeah, it's better. It could be a little tighter. All right. Uh, what I may would do later is take it apart and tighten it up more, but I don't want to fuss now. So what I need now is a patch panel tender that I could plug into this and distribute the power across. Um, I might try to do that with my clips. Uh, I'll get back to you on how that works. But at any rate, that's how you assemble the springs and the brushes, and, and then you can always test for, you know, spin your armature, and this one spins really nice, really smooth. So. We should be in good shape. This is tight, this is oiled, these are in properly. They're dry, they're clean, they just slid right down the barrel. Everything looks great. I'm gonna to try to find a way to put some power on this baby. See what we got. 